hi all so in this video we are going to see how we can display multiple interfaces in one interface okay so this is the first method through the interface method and another way is to show through the process model that we will see later on but let's see uh, first of all let's create a simple interface uh, it will be user uh, in for information let's create it and we will add only few fields here and then we will create an another interface as well and then we will try to call it uh, the both the interfaces into one interface so let's take a simple form layout after the form layout uh, we will add some fields there so our form layout is added we don't need uh, this section layout let's delete it for now and let's skip some two three fields we will keep it for now okay uh, let's keep only two fields for now only let's go to the expression mode and in the form layout let's name it as user information and uh, in our name we will write the name and we will write phone number so let's collect only these two details for now so our first interface is ready now let's create our second interface here we will write it address address information okay so here also we will take only few fields there okay and uh, we will try to save the interface so here okay so here we don't need a form layout as you can see here already we have a cancel and submit button here we don't need another cancel and submit button so what we will do we will just take directly a se section layout only and uh, uh, we will put some text fields there okay so let's uh, name the uh, section layout as address address information and let's take uh, some text fields to store the address data uh, let's take a uh, text field this year okay and these two three fields will be more than enough let's name our fields as well so first field let's name it as street street name or colony colony name and uh, second one let's name it as city and the third one we will name it as uh, state so these are the three things that we want to see so that's all so let's save our changes here as well so as you can see here uh, what we want is we want this address information to be displayed here so let's say uh, what we can do is so in order to display one interface into another we will add some conditions like when this interface will will be shown and in this interface we will control that condition so let's add a condition here first so let's add a rule input like uh, so so address so so address and it will be a boolean okay and let's click on create okay let's collapse the contents field so that and we can see the parameters of the section layout so these are the parameters one parameter will be show in as well show when and we only want to show this uh, data when rule input is true okay so when this uh, show when condition is true so if it is true then it will show if it is false then it won't show ah, then okay then it won't show and if this it is true then it will automatically show this contents okay and now we will monitor or control this show when condition into our this UI that's all we want to do there is nothing much here okay so after this section layout let's put uh, uh, this is our section layout after that we will put our interface so to call any interface anything or expression we will use a rule bank so rule bank and what the interface name we will copy the interface name we will paste here okay let's give it so okay so here we can see here uh, some error is there that this UI has one parameter but instead zero pass let's see what are the parameters so if you see here so there is one parameter like so when condition is there so we will write the so when condition here as well so if you just write so when it will so address 
okay uh, currently like there is nothing here so let's create a uh, rule inputs here as well so address and here it can be anything uh, same name is not actually mandatory we can create mul any name so so when when rule input uh, so address is true so we that's all we want so currently you can see here uh, automatically this address has a, a address information is not showing but if I select that value to true then my address information will be shown so now you can see but uh, this is manually I done but on the click of a button now we want to do it so how to do it on the click of a button uh, okay so what we want is when user click on the this button uh, ideally it should show a next button uh, we will name it next and that address information will be shown okay so let's uh, click on this is the button submit so instead here let's keep it next and this is submit is equal to true we don't need the submit button here we just need we don't need to submit the form so if I click on next what it should do it should automatically make this rule input true so that my address information will be shown so we'll add a uh, save into condition here save into save into is a bank save this is how it works and it has two parameters target and value target where we want to save our data we want to save our data into this rule input so we will keep rule input so address and what is the value we want to show we want to say true okay we want to say true so if it is now let's see is it working or not so if I click on next so address information should be shown to us so okay now you can see address information is shown and automatically this so address has become true okay so and we don't want this uh, name and phone number to be displayed here okay so when uh, now how to let's where is that name and phone number here it is in this section layout if you go to the content this is this so let's collapse the contents and here we will write a condition of show when here as well so when it is true this data should not show so uh, we can write so when rule, rule input so when is false so that that's what so now you can see here it's not visible okay and uh, instead now, now we should also have a back button here so that you know like we can directly uh, move back to the, our previous UI as well if user want to move back to previous UI so let's uh, we can use the same button widget as well uh, for that it will become a bit complex so for the simplicity let's copy this and uh, we'll use the a new button for that okay and we will name it back button okay and value is true not needed let's uh, we will directly use save into save into is okay submit should not be there we don't want to submit otherwise the form will get cancelled from here style validate false all these things fine that's not huh now let's put the save into a bank save what is our target our target is rule input eh? so address and what is the value we want to show there we want to put there false so that we can see our uh, this UI okay so now if we click on back button so automatically if you see uh, this rule input has become false and we can see our first UI and uh, now still the back button is showing right we don't want the back button now because there is no back now so here as well we can write the show when condition when rule input so address is true then only we will show it okay so now let's try once again and we'll see it okay next button we will click and we will get the address information back button we will click we will go back to our previous UI so if I click on this again the next button is showing right uh, we don't want the next button so let's uh, go back to our wizard and here we won't use a new button layout let's put a condition here here only so if if rule input uh, show address so currently it is what 
it is true right so if it is true then my address information is showing and that is my last ui so if it is true in the last ui what we want to display we want to show submit otherwise it should be next button okay and let's uh, remove this okay and we don't want single quotes double quotes should be there yeah now it's look good yeah let's try once again let's go back let's click on back button let's click on next okay and uh, this is the submit button so this is how multiple ui can be used in a single interface this was one method there is another method through process model as well that we will see in part two of this video